hi guys and welcome back to the blog in today's video we're going to be discussing five fragrances that i consider vintage fragrances these five fragrances are fragrances that our mom may have worn if they could afford it you know times were different then but fragrances that our parents our moms may have worn or fragrances that our parents wish they could wear so i i want to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about these five delicious beautiful vintage fragrances yes vintage is the key word the fragrances are vintage fragrances you guys are ready to get started let me put my glasses on because you know me guys i did a little research for you and i like to know what i'm talking about all right so the first fragrance that i want to talk to you guys about is coco chanel coco chanel was created in 1921 you guys remember Gabrielle Coco Chanel, right? Remember when she was the lady that wore the short, black, beautiful little dress, the little A-line dress? Well, yes, this fragrance here was created for her, Gabrielle Coco Chanel. Now, what is in this fragrance? The open notes are citrus, Sicilian mandarin, jasmine absolute, heightened with yin-yang, termian orange, and blossom, orange blossoms. Yes, guys, Coco Chanel, the fragrance that our parents, our mom, wanted to wear, hoped to wear, and desired to wear. <laughs> guys, I wear it. I am classified as a mm, singer, mm, singer. So I love the scent of Coco Chanel. I used to work with this um person one time me and her are good friends you know i love her i do and she would she's much younger than i am you know we worked in the same office actually i'm probably about 20 or 25 years older than she is and one day i walked in the office and i had the coco chanel on and i'll mix my fragrances with other fragrances you know just to get a different little smell you know so i mixed the coco chanel with something else and i can't remember what the fragrance was and she said you smell good she said but i know that is an older woman scent yeah so one of the other ladies in the office says it smells delicious and it's a classy scent and it's it's it's, it's a bougie classic scent and i started to laugh and i'm like okay boy we can come up with some words for some fragrances but yes guys now the average person that wears coco chanel is probably over 45 most likely but then you know what in doing my research, I discovered that a lot of women between the age of 20 and 30 like Coco Chanel. They sure do. This fragrance is not going to go anywhere, guys. This fragrance here is going to be around for a very long time. So, if you like a fragrance that's kind of, it's kind of woodsy to me, but it's sweet. It is slightly strong when you first spray it. It needs to dry down a little bit, but it's a very bougie, classy fragrance. You will like Coco Chanel. Remember the diva with the little short black dress on? All right, guys, and you'll get into this fragrance, all right? That's the first one. Let me sit it down. Glass is time again, guys. Now, the second fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about is Trezor. I love the bottle of Trezor. Trezor is a Lancome fragrance. It was launched in 1952. It is an oriental floral fragrance. The top notes are rose, lilac, lily of the valley, apricot, spices, peaches, orange blossom, amber, sandalwood, cedar musk, and green leaves. Trezor, guys. I like this fragrance. This fragrance is beautiful. And look at the bottle. Look at the bottle, the Trezor bottle, guys. I remember when I was probably mm, 17, 18 years old, and I used to go into, before I, before it became Macy, I think it was Davison, 
And then we had a riches. I used to go in those places and walk around, guys. When I was in college, when I was at Morris Brown College, I used to go leave college, go downtown to get the bus to go home, and I would go into Riches, into, into Davidson, and spray and sample these fragrances. And Trezor was one of the fragrances that I used to sample, guys. This is, and today, guys, this is a very nice scent for today. You don't have to be my age or over 45 or over 50 to like Trezor. It is one of those fragrances that sisters in their 20s and 30s might enjoy. Yes, this is Trezor, guys, fragrance number two. All right. Now, a bunch of you guys probably remember this fragrance. I can't say you do, but I won't say you don't cashmere <laughs> guys cashmere used to be in um wow what was that store <sighs> before it became cvs it was a drug store that used to sell cashmere and i think maybe burlington burlington co factory or burlington probably and may still sell cashmere today but look at this bottle guys Look at this beautiful, beautiful bottle. Look at the cashmere bottle. And all this, come on, is the top, and that's the fragrance portion. But look at the bottle of cashmere. Isn't that beautiful? That is a pretty bottle to me. I love this bottle, and I love this scent, guys. Let's find out about cashmere. Cashmere was originated in 2015, yes. Cashmere has been renamed. At first, it was called Cologne Cashmere. But after that, around 2019, they renamed it just Cashmere. Cashmere contains mandarin oranges, bergamot, amber, and spices, and chestnut. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You can smell the mandarin oranges and the amber and the chestnut in Cashmere. It is warm. It is sultry, and it is beautiful, guys. I do not want to stand here and start spraying, spraying on all these fragrances, guys. I will be like, woo, woozy. With most fragrances, guys, you need to allow them to dry down, okay? Mmm. That still smells so good today. When I was working, I wore this to work too. And the only thing all of the girls in the office would say, young and older, you smell so good, Gigi. What are you wearing today? Yes, and I would smile and say, girl, stop. You need to stop. But I was wearing cashmere a lot of days too, guys. Like I said, guys, you know, I tell you guys the truth, and I do. I have tons of fragrances, but when you're my age, should have something guys so yes i have fragrances guys i sure do i am really thinking about giving a doing a giveaway for valentine but i'll let you guys know i will announce that in february and next month today is january 30th it's monday so i will announce the giveaway for a bottle of fragrance it's gonna be it depends on who wins it um not being funny or not trying to be in your business i may ask your age and that's for the purpose of knowing what to send you i don't want to send somebody 20 a bottle of fragrance that may not like this type and i don't want to send anybody in their you know in their senior years something that might be too strong and they won't wear so that may be the purpose of me asking you your age range okay all right so what's the next one ah you guys remember Boucheron? Do you guys remember Boucheron? Yes. Yes. I think one of my sisters used to like to wear a side of Boucheron. But this is Boucheron, guys. And let's figure out what's going on with Boucheron. Now, Boucheron came out in 1988. And they talk about the beautiful cabochon blue top. You see that, guys? This was the signature piece for Boucheron, the blue cabochon blue top. 
It looks like a ring, guys, isn't it? You see it? It looks like it looks like a piece of jewelry. Right here would be the band, right? And then this would be the stone. That is gorgeous. That would be nice if they created a piece of jewelry to implement in when you buy the fragrance. That would be really, really nice. But yes, guys, um, Boucheron has amber floral. It says a halo of mandarin oranges, um, white flowers, jasmine, yang yang, tuberose, amber, and vanilla. Those are the notes that are in Boucheron, guys. And here I go. What, what does that song say? Here I go. Here I go. So here I go. Ah, oh, yes. The mandarin oranges and the amber. What is that? That's tuberose. I smell the tuberose. I fan my arm a little bit, guys, so it can dry down. So I can seriously identify the, new, the notes. Mmm, that tuberose is coming through. And that yang yang. Oh my goodness, this is just a beautiful, beautiful blend of all of the fragrances that is in this perfume. Yes, this is Boucheron, guys. And the ladies of my mom day and the ladies of my day wear Boucheron. All right? All right? So one more because I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter. Fragrance number five. Guys, who remember this? Sweet Desire. I like Sweet Desire. When I was working um, for a millionaire owner, um, she was out in California, and she had bought properties in Atlanta. And she called me and said, I'm in town. I'm coming by the property. And, you know, I... It was probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, I was just basically really getting in because we had to be to work like 8.30 in the morning. So when she came in, I guess the office was probably smelling like this sweet desire. She said, and I noticed and I looked up, she kept looking around like she was looking for some flowers. Or she was looking for maybe some type of air freshener or deodorizer. Mm-mm. It was my Sweet Desire perfume. And she said, Jay, Jay, what do you got on? What are you wearing? I said, Sweet Desire. She said, that smells real good. I said, thank you so much. She said, girl, you're welcome, but that is nice. And then she came and she said, where did you get that from? <laughs> and I told her where I got it from, you know. She has kind of like a like, high-pitched voice. Mm -hmm. And she's so sweet and so kind. But yeah, guys, she asked about this. And it is called Sweet Desire. Now, let's examine Sweet Desire. All right, Sweet Desire. Got to flip my little note. <laughs> Sweet Desire came out in 2007. It is a Liz Claiborne fragrance. And it contains amber floral, blue, black currant, lichen, bergamot, lemon, mimosa, orange blossoms, roses, jasmine, Honey, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and musk. That is a lot of fragrances in one. <laughs> that is a lot of fragrances in one bottle of perfume. Oh my goodness. They were not playing the radio. Can I tell you something, guys? Don't take this to heart, okay? Because this is just my personal opinion. I truly think that fragrances, in a sense, before 2000, I'm going to say 10, probably were better. This is my personal opinion, okay? Let me tell you why I'm saying that. A lot of those fragrances were not watered down, maybe, or pulled down, maybe. When they said patchouli and amber and jasmine and yang yang, they meant patchouli and jasmine and amber and yang yang. They didn't put so much patchouli and add so much water. You understand? Or add so much alcohol. You understand? A lot of fragrances today smell like alcohol. They do. A lot of our fragrances today smell like alcohol. Now, don't misunderstand. I wear 
modern day fragrances you guys seen a couple of my fragrance videos i think i may have three or four fragrance videos out there you guys seen my fragrance videos and i wear today fragrances of course i do but i am just saying the fragrances of old the fragrances of my mom's time of the time when i was 18 19 and learning to appreciate fragrances smell better they were not alcohol and watered down i am not saying that these companies are doing that i don't know i don't work in the fragrance warehouse or for these manufacturers i don't know but i'm saying when i spray these fragrances on ladies they last all day and that's what we're looking for as people that purchase or women that purchase perfumes we want these fragrances to last we don't want to have to spray or any back up four and five times a day we want our scents to last through the day we want to walk by people and sometimes they'll say what are you wearing or you smell good you know i have women and men say you smell good i'm like thank you you know because i believe in common courtesy and mannerism there's nothing wrong with saying thank you and i just keep moving i don't stop and, and you know conversate i just keep moving but i will say thank you because somebody appreciate that i smell nice you understand somebody appreciate that i smell nice so guys i have shared with you five what i consider vintage fragrances that our moms may have worn or wanted to wear how about that one more thing guys and we're going to close this video now guys i can't oh, juice this is all i drink guys is cranberry juice water and lemonade and strawberry lemonade yes uh, you know it's that time of the year your throat be dry and it's a mess outside today it is but guys i wanted to share this with you okay it only came in a set of two and they was right at 30 bucks for two so i had to go sit down <laughs> but i have a cabinet i don't see if you can see it from here full of stemware and i have a vintage cabinet full of stemware so i have the glasses that i basically want to use for my valentine presentation but i just had to show you guys this these are part of my valentine presentation look guys look at the flowers and they're purple they're white and purple then look at the base aren't these pretty guys these are so pretty guys these are amazon finds yes guys excuse me i'm sorry these are amazon fine and look you can feel it this is just gorgeous guys look isn't that a pretty piece of stemware yes guys and look at that so guys you will see this on my valentine table and guys you probably can't see it from here but my husband put up the lanterns for me in the kitchen so i will take you guys in there probably on the next video and let you look at that and guys i'm gonna really need your support on this i found remember i was telling you guys that a person asked me to do opera glove opera glove video an opera glove video i found six out of the seven pairs um i'm gonna go ahead and do that video because it was requested and guys you know it's like this when somebody asks me to do something if i can i will do it if i can do it i will do it so i'm gonna put on a little dress and i need you guys to support this because it is a requested video but it's gonna be a video on opera gloves okay it stemmed from the video when i did the gloves video the leather gloves video and i thank you guys so much that video boy you guys tore that video up you guys um i think it had 600 600 views on it so i appreciate that but i'm gonna ask you guys one more time go back to my last three previous videos and kind of light me up a little bit more they need a little bit more support it was a tiffany video guys and it was um a vintage pearl video 
and I think it might have been my birthday video. I don't know, but I need you guys to thumb up those videos for me, guys. I got to get them numbers up a little bit more. But I hope, like I always tell you guys, I hope that you enjoy these videos. And I like doing them for you. I do. I appreciate you guys for even watching my videos. I am still new in the game and I am learning so much. I appreciate you guys' comments. I really do. And I'm trying to make it fun. Yeah, I'm really trying to make it fun over you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by again. May God bless you and may he keep you. Don't forget to like share my videos if you can it's okay share my videos if you can <laughs> hit that notification button guys so that you won't miss my uploads please don't forget to hit the notification button so you won't miss my uploads and just continue to come back and be here with me and for me guys so until i see you again guys may god bless you and keep you and we love you over here we sincerely do later guys